After 2.30 this afternoon along York Road at Bunker Hill Road, police say 42 people were on board the bus at the time. 11 News reporter Kai Reed is live with the late breaking details. Kai, bring us up to date. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you guys, uh, we just got that um, word that the bus was moved upright and moved off of York Road here about 20 minutes ago. But I want to first off talk about the injuries. We're told that nine students were transported to hospitals with minor injuries, extremely minor injuries. We're talking cuts, bruises, things like that. While the driver was transported to Sinai with more serious injuries, although we're told that she was conscious, alert, and talking at the time. The bus flipped over onto its side here on York Road, just north of Hereford High School, as as it approached the big gunpowder river bridge. No other vehicles were involved and the Baltimore County Police crash team will lead the investigation into why and how this happened. The bus was leaving Hereford High School with 42 middle and high schoolers at the time. After the crash, students were able to get themselves off of the bus. We spoke with eighth grader Nick Dowell, who was on the bus and his mother as parents were picking up their kids at the school. We were just going down York Road and I'd look, I look ahead and see the uh, bus is swerving. And I just close my eyes, and when I open my eyes, the bus is on its side, and there's just kids all on the side where like the windows are, those cracked, cracked glass. We all got out the back door and got up, went up the hill, and then the police came and everything. All of the children um, were from were fine. No, no, none of the children, from what I understand, had any serious injuries. The only serious injury was the bus driver. And so the nine students were taken to GBMC, St. Joe's and York Hospital. You should expect traffic to be impacted in this area for some time. And we're also told that the investigation into the crash should take several weeks or could take several weeks. Reporting live in Baltimore County, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News. A very scary